I know fam, Born Pretty sent me some PR products that I will be unboxing in today's video and I will be doing a quick nail design. So if you wanna see everything that I got, please keep watching. Welcome back, Nail Fam. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so I have already unboxed all of these new products from Born Pretty just to save time, but I still wanted to show you the packaging. When you uh, receive a product like this, it just comes in a plain box. Here's what the uh, side looks like, and that's the back, which has the address and just the barcode. So you don't really know which product is which because they all kind of have the same outer packaging. Um, so this first one here is an Aurora Solid Gel. This is the first time I've actually ever seen a product like this and i thought it was really unique now i have had some um, good and bad experiences with solid gel in the past it's a there's a learning curve to it uh, if you know what you're doing then this is going to be the easiest product you've ever used if you don't know what you're doing then it's gonna look like deodorant it's gonna look like a really shiny deodorant but it is so pretty and so innovative i think warm pretty might just be the only brand or possibly one of the first brands to come up with a product like this Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, since this is a solid uh, product, I can't actually swatch it like how I would with the, with the gel polish. So I'm just going to take a small piece of the solid gel, and we're just going to go ahead and fold it or mold it into this uh, swatch stick here. And this is how easy this product is. Like solid gel came and just it's like a game changer. So you can just kind of shape it into the shape of the swatch stick. Or if this was a dual form, this possibly could work in dual forms. It could possibly even work on regular nail forms. The possibilities are end endless. And voila, there it is. This would be good for a lazy girl method as well. Look at how beautiful that Aurora effect is. It's just shifting from like green to like a pink. Absolutely beautiful. So what you would do is once you have your shape, then you would cure it and then you would add your top coat or whatever else you'd like to add. All right, so that's the Aurora Non-Stick. So now this is the Luminous Non-Stick Solid Gel. Um, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna get a swatch stick and we're just gonna go ahead and stick this in there. Now, Luminous means that it actually glows in the dark to some extent. Um, it does have to be activated under the UV lamp for the glow effect to take its place. Like this looks white. This one's a little bit more greasier than the Aurora one. Um, so this one is white, but in the, once it's been activated, it gives off a nice, pretty green glow. All right, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to take a little piece of this. Um, the texture is a little bit different as well. It's a little bit more harder than the Aurora one. I'm just going to take a small little piece of this little chewing gum deodorant, <laughs> solid gel. And we're just going to put it into the swatch stick. Get it nicely and shaped properly, and then we're gonna give these two a cure under the UV lamp for a full 60 seconds. All right, moving right along. So this is another new product, Pat Paint Gel. Now, let me explain this. This is like solid gel and paint gel had a cousin. Like they didn't have a baby, they had a cousin because it's completely different. I had this now for about a week or and a half or so and it hasn't fell to the bottom of the container. It did not level, like self-level, and you know, it stayed stuck. It stayed like to half of the container. So the texture is completely different than any product I've seen before. It's like a jello. It's like a jelly solid gel paint. It is amazing. And um as I was using them, so this is just me showing you the glow in the dark, I'm trying to show you the little glow in the dark activation there of that um luminous solid gel can you see it guys you can see the little green peeking through it is so cool uh it would be perfect for in the nighttime really cool so you got your little shimmery one for the day which is the aurora one 
and you have your glow in the dark for the night how amazing are those two products okay so back to this pat paint gel one of the most innovative products absolutely stunning i don't know what the texture is i don't know like it's like it's something it's very different uh, i'm going to use a, a poly gel brush i'm just going to clean this up just a little bit i'm going to use my brush my brush cleaning essence um, that i have here gets the job done for when you want to clean your brushes when you use solid gel when you use like solid pudding gel sorry which is kind of what this is it's like a solid pudding gel but it's, it has more opacity one of the um not so good things about the solid gels is some of them just don't have that pigmentation they'd be really thin but this product right here like this is the blackest black and the white is the whitest white and you only need a little bit like a little bit goes a long way so you're not this is this is insanely good especially for those that struggle with gel polish flooding the cuticles or flooding the sidewalls um this is not moving it's not going anywhere and it is opaque and it is thin and this would be perfect for nail artwork with the line art brushes i was absolutely amazed this is um one of the best products that bond pretty has like beside rubber based gel beside the reinforcement gel and beside their super top coat which are my three top you know like favorite products from bond pretty right now which i'm also going to be using in this video um this this is my new next favorite so i'm gonna go online and see how much other colors that they have i want the entire collection it is an amazing product all right i'm going to go ahead and um swatch the white for you and let you see how white this white is it's like white white and then we're going to cure them and we're going to move on to the final three gel polishes that i have here absolutely impressed two thumbs up for the pot paint gel from bond pretty absolutely amazing okay so these are the three gel polishes here one of these is a glow in the dark luminous one and the other two are glitter so i'm just going to grab my swatch stick and we're going to go ahead and swatch these last three gel polishes for you now i do have a fun tutorial i have a nail hack guys it's going to be um using some rubber base gel and some acrylic powder to do some acrylic nails without actually using monomer you guys know that i do not like monomer so stick around just for a little bit longer and i'm gonna show you this cool hack i really think you guys are gonna love it absolutely love it
right, so I've given them all a cure under the UV lamp, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some uh, top gel, some super top coat, sorry. And when I took this one out of the lamp, like you see the texture. That's how you know it's different. Like I do not know what the formula is for the for these pat pink gels, but they are of a different species of gel polish. They are absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Bond Pretty Super uh, Top Coat to cover up the uh, solid gels as well as the gel polish and then give them another cure under the UV lamp. So here is a final look of all of the uh, PR products that I received in today's video. Absolutely beautiful kind of neutral colors and uh, very versatile as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this watching. We're going to move on to the nail aspect of the video. Um, I applied these off camera using my gel fully gel glue. And I also used these 3XL uh, coffin nails from Varnail. Kind of, I'm kind of obsessed with them at the minute. So uh, I popped those on off camera. So now I was trying to figure out like what exactly I was going to do with my nails. I never knew what I wanted to do. Um, I was I was actually really loving this color right here. Really loving that one. But I don't actually have using that. So I'm going to start off by applying some rubber base gel. Now this is the hack guys. We going to do some acrylic nails. But we're not going to use any monomer because me and monomer we broke up a long time ago. I told you guys that. But to get started, I'm going to use some primer. I'm going to chemically etch these nails and I'm going to keep stroking them until I feel a bit of resistance. Then I know that the nails are ready. We're going to be using uh, Born Pretty's rubber base gel, but we're also going to be using some dipping acrylic powder. Now, in the past, I've done a few variations of the no monomer method originally by Baby Girl Nail. Shout out to my girl. And I've done with foil glue. I think I've done with the base gel. And this is the first time I'm actually trying it out with rubber base gel. Somebody on my channel left a comment and they asked me if I had tried it yet. And I was like, that is an interesting idea. So shout out to that subscriber who actually um, suggested this. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give that a try. So today, as I was grabbing the rubber base gel, because I did not know what I was doing. And I said, you know what? Let me get that. Let me get that thing a try. Let me see how to work out. So in the past, I've used foil gel. I've used base gel. I think I've even used matte top coat and they all worked okay. But there was a little bit of um, graininess to them. So this time I'm using rubber base gel and I let the rubber base gel sit on my nails. It's not cured yet. I'm going to grab this nude uh, dipping powder. This is a two-in-one, so you can use it as acrylic or a dip powder from Not Polished. And um, I wanted my nails to be nude. So whilst that layer of wet rubber base gel is still on my nail, I'm going to go ahead and pour the dip powder over that. And I'm going to leave it for like a minute or two. I'm not going to immediately cure it because you need the two products to kind of um, get to know each other. They got to get really close and personal in order for, because we're not, we're not using monomer, which is going to harden the acrylic, we're using a rubber base gel. We need them to kind of come together. So I let it sit and let it, let it simmer a little bit. And trust me, because of all the hacks that I have done, this is actually the best nail hack in terms of not using no monomer. Rubber base gel has been the best one. I did not get a grainy texture. I did not look at it and I, I noticed that some of it didn't, was like patchy or anything like that. It literally like, it looked like, like it was drying, like acrylic, like wet acrylic beads. It looked like acrylic beads were drying. I cannot get over how insanely well this particular nail had work. Um, it could be that not polished, you know, acrylic powder was top notch. I mean, I'm using a really expensive acrylic powder anyway, but um, I was really impressed. Like usually I'll have like just a little bit of texture to the top, didn't have that. It really did look like a thin layer of acrylic beads, of a wet acrylic bead laid down. And I was thoroughly impressed. I would recommend that you go in with at least three layers to kind of build up the opacity because uh, again, you're not using monomer. So I'm going to go, I'm only going to use two layers 
And I was satisfied with the strength of the nail because acrylic still made my nails feel really strong, the dipping powder. And the rubber base gel gave me just a little bit of a flexibility, which I need because my nail beds are really thin. And um, I don't want like acrylic would be too hard on my really thin and flexible nails. So this is like the best of both worlds for me. Like, guys, give this a hack. Really try this hack out and you're actually going to really love it. So I possibly might continue to do this for quite some time because I thought this was really good. I want to test out if this works with ombre. Like if I use two different colors of acrylic and I can I ombre it. I want to test it out with marble, see how well it actually does marble onto the nail. So um, uh, hats off to that subscriber who say, try the rubber base gel. I don't know if she got to try it. And I don't know if, if you're listening, let me know how you got on with your, um, uh, how you got on with this method. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply a second layer to all of my nails. Excuse my dry, crusty hands, guys. Don't worry about that. And um, give them a cure under the UV lamp. So this is what two layers look like. And guys, like, ain't nothing here to dust off. Like, nothing on my nails to dust off. Tell me that I don't look like acrylic. Tell me that I don't look like I just laid on some nice beads. You know what I mean? I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, after this, this is now time for me to go in um, with some nail design. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do at first. I was thinking I would use this glitter gel polish because I really liked this one. But I'm always reaching for, for glitter gel polish. So I said, you know what? Let's use the pot paint gel. Let's put the pot paint gel to the test. So I'm going to do an ombre on my nail. I got these. I had a Shein haul. I, I didn't do a Shein video because it was just so much stuff that I got. It was just really, really a lot of random stuff as well. Um, and in the Shein video, in my Shein haul, I got some of these little sponges here. It was like dollar something. I probably could have got this from a cosmetic store. But um, there were some line-up brushes on their website that I thought were really super cool. And I wanted them to do some nail art. And these are actually nice. I think these are around 8 euros. So it's possibly like 9 or 10 US dollars. Um, they looked really promising. They feel cheap. But they look really promising. I saw some of these on Amazon and they were like almost $20. So she and had them for like half the price. Um, and uh, they look promising. So I'm going to be using them to do some nail art to see how they worked out. But I do recommend them for anyone that's um, interested in nail art. Okay, so we're going to use the poly gel brush again. And we're going to dip just a tiny little bit into this white pat paint gel. I'm going to paint about half of the nail or maybe even... Just a little bit about maybe 60% of the nail. And then I'll use that little sponge, that little slice of pizza sponge looking thing. And we're just going to pat on it and create that kind of ombre kind of effect. And it worked really, really well. I was really impressed with this pot paint gel. Guys, you need, like, you really, like, I'm not even joking. Like, you need rubber base gel. You guys heard me say that before. I'm not even trying to sell anything to you guys. Rubber base gel, super top coat. And the reinforcement gel from Born Pretty. And now add pot paint gel to your list of products to purchase from Born Pretty. I have a discount code. Hop on it, guys. Hop on it.
All right, so I possibly should have gone in with a second layer of the pat paint gel just to make sure it's nice and smooth and not so patchy. But like again, this is just for um, design purposes. So I found my glitter top coat from Born Pretty. I'm gonna go over my index finger and as well as my uh, pinky finger, just add a little bit of gold glitz onto that. I felt very goldy. And then when I had it on, I was like, you know what? I feel, in, I feel like I wanna grab my bee charms again. You guys know I love my little bees because it's spring now. So um, for my ring finger, I'm just going to put on some flower charms and uh, some bee charms. And then I'm going to finish off with the Born Pretty Super Top Coat. All right, guys, so I did file around the sideballs as well as the free edge just to make sure that they were clean and crispy. And I'm just going in with a little bit of lotion onto my dry hands and some cuticle oil. So here's a final look of this nail design. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.